In this video, we will learn how to use the new embroidery generator from Substance 3D Sampler. This functionality allows you to generate an embroidery patch from a single image or a mask. This generator can embroider up to six colors and you can combine several embroidery generators in the layer stack. We will be able to customize the embroidery design with easy to use parameters. Let's design an embroidery patch together. First, we will have a look to the export process in Adobe Illustrator. On the left, we have a black and white mask for the main shape of the patch. On the right, we have a colored illustration with a transparent background. Two things to note here. There is no gradient in the illustrations. The embroidery generator will only process solid shapes with solid colors. The artboards have a square ratio of at least 1K. For the embroidery generator, always try to fit your designs in square images with transparent backgrounds. Now we can go in File, Export, Export As. Select PNG and check the option Use Artboards. Finally, click on Export. In the anti-aliasing drop-down menu, select None, as we want to have sharp borders for the shapes. Now we can check that the background color is set to transparent and click on OK. The export is done, let's switch to sampler. First, we will generate the outline of the patch. Drag and drop the black and white mask in sampler. Select Use as bitmap and click on Import. To add an embroidery generator in the layer stack, click on the filter icon and search for Embroidery. Our black and white mask automatically loads in the embroidery as the image input. If we change the color count to 1, a pointer appears in the 2D viewport. With it, we can target different color areas. We can increase or decrease the number of stitches that define our embroidery with the stitch density parameter. Let's set it to a value of 125. With the embroidery mode, we can generate only the outlines of the mask. Then we can set the thickness of the outline with the outline threshold parameter. Let's set it to 0.1. With the thread size parameter, we can modify the aspect ratio of the stitches. We'll set the length to 0.6 and the width to 0.7. We can define the precision of the embroidery by playing with the imperfections parameter. Let's put it to 0.1. In the Fill Stitching menu, we can set the level of the stitching with the Fill Thickness parameter. To have a higher outline, we will set the Fill Thickness to 0.9. Finally, we can open the Stitch Finish menu and activate the Custom Color switch to modify the color of the stitching. Let's make it blue. Now we will create the embroidery fill inside the outline. To begin, let's add a new embroidery layer in the layer stack by searching for embroidery. The same mask will automatically load in the embroidery generator as the image input. Let's change the color amount to 1 and the density to 125. We will keep the embroidery mode set to fill and open the fill stitching menu. When the embroidery mode is set to fill, the fill stitching menu gives us more options to tweak. Let's change the fill stitching from satin to twill. We can set the custom orientation for the stitches with the fill orientation parameter. We will set it to 90 degrees. We can set the fill thickness to minus 0.9 to have a fill patch lower than the outline. Finally, we will assign a custom color to the fill stitching with the custom color parameter. We can choose a darker white color. Let's embroider the colorful illustration on the patch now. We will add a third embroidery generator in the layer stack. This time we don't want to use the same mask, so let's drag and drop the illustration exported from Illustrator in the image input. We see that the four colors appear in the embroidery. All the transparent parts of the image are empty. Let's change the color amount to 4 and the density to 125. Most of the time with complex shapes, it's required to tweak the outline threshold parameter. Let's discover together how it works. By setting the outline threshold to a lower value, the shapes are less divided. We can see that a value of 0 will only assign one direction by shape. Let's follow the behavior of this blue wave and increase the outline threshold now. 
By increasing the parameter, the shapes are getting divided in smaller pieces to follow the flow of the shape's outlines. For this design, a value of 0.3 works fine. On this star illustration, setting a value of 1 works better to follow the outline flow of the shapes. Let's come back to our embroidery. We can also tweak the random seed of the generator to shuffle the position of the stitches. Let's fine tune the threading with the thread size and the imperfections parameters. In the real world, the embroideries are highly anisotropic surfaces. The embroidery generator outputs anisotropic angle and level maps to define this behavior. To activate these maps, go to the channel settings and switch on the anisotropic angle and level channels. The maps will appear in the 2D viewport here and there. Finally, we will tweak some of the stitch finish parameters to fine tune the look and feel of the embroidery. By setting a lower roughness value, some metallic and more anisotropy, we will increase the anisotropy reflectivity of the stitches. Let's rotate the environment with shift and right click to better see the anisotropic effects. Now you can export and use this embroidery patch in your designs and renders. With the embroidery generator, creating realistic embroideries is now easy and creative. I hope you will enjoy using the new embroidery feature in Substance 3D Sampler. Thanks for watching.